so grab this madmen toil surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon uncover their secrets so you're gonna occasionally find notes like that scattered all over the area and right now they don't really mean anything And we're going to find one of the first people we can send back to one of our two safe places. Why, oh God, the healing church. You've come to save me. Oh, thank you, dear saint. I have no words to express my relief. You can take this at least. It's a little weird that she has that. Sure to please an upstanding member of the church like you. Oh, thank you so much, dear gods. So she thinks I'm a member of tur of the church because I'm wearing Father Gascoigne's clothing. Um, she'll actually give you completely different dialogue if you're not wearing clothing associated with the church. Um, in fact, she won't even give you the option to send her back to one of your safe places. I'm gonna send her back to Odin Chapel. Oh, thank you so much. I'll set out as soon as I can. I pray for success on your hunt. Kind hunter. Okay, and at this point I can basically just leave her to her own, you know, recognizance, if that's even the right word. Um, she'll find her way back to the Odin Chapel on her own, which I don't know how somehow she makes it back there safe, but whatever. Works for me, I guess. Um, right now, I have to worry about getting back myself. Uh, which way? Which way? There you are, you little bastard. Alright. Okay, not gonna take you on. Fortunately, the lamp to take you back is pretty close. But I actually have a few more things that I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna go back to upgrade my weapon a little bit. Seven right now. Might need more than that, but we'll see. Yep. I think I can get three or four more of the twin bloodstone shards, which will get me to a plus five. And then once I go through him with Charnel Lane, I should definitely have enough to get uh, up to a plus six. And then I'll need to beat um, 
Vicar Amelia before I can get to a plus seven. But that's okay. She's actually... She could probably hit pretty hard, but... I, ow! Maybe not even that hard. Um, she can hit pretty hard, but... Um, with a plus six weapon, beast blood, beast blood pellets, and the fire paper, I should be okay. Yeah, those guys hit like a freaking truck. Um, you do not want to fuck with them. Nine. Let's... Alright. Oh, I forgot about that. That woman. All right, let's try that one more time. And then we can go fight Dark Beast Parl. Okay, lady, seriously? Can't you see I'm busy? People have no manners, I swear to God. Okay. So... Open up a little shortcut. Um... There's some other stuff I could do out there, but I don't really need to do it. And I currently have enough to get to a plus five, so we're going to do that first. Actually, I'm also going to check my current equipment, because I, I like the gas coin set, but I want to use the one, whatever set has the best beast hood. Which looks like it's going to be the hunter's garb. Because the, the higher my beast hood, the higher my my beast hood meter will go, which is what the, the beast blood pellets do. Which means, um, basically, the higher that is, the, the higher my total damage can get. Um, so, I want that to be generally as, as high as possible. Um, okay. So, that's a plus five. And... Go ahead and buy one more fire paper. Back to the Hypogean Jail. Hello, Colneth. Welcome to the stream. And uh, apologies if I didn't pronounce the name right. Okay. So. Nice. All right. So on to the Dark Beast. Uh, oh wait, 
one more level up. Tricky little witches. Ah, they still got me. This might kill me. This. Ooh, did I survive? Nope. Damn it. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of deaths like that. Not necessarily to those things particularly, but just like stuff that probably would like maybe do a quarter of my total health maybe a third is just gonna kill me on this run because I have no more health than I normally do so I'm actually just gonna say Well, I got plenty of pebbles if I really need them. What's up, guys? All right. Forgot about that. So basically what I'm trying to do here is break all of its legs. Because that'll weaken it. Make it more susceptible to damage. Um, and allow me to kill it faster. So that actually wasn't too bad. Um, so what that... Wow, I got a ton of echoes for that. Um, what that's going to allow me to do... Uh, gave me the Spark Hunter badge. Um, that is going to allow me to now buy Bolt Paper. So whenever I want to use um, Lightning on my weapon, it will... Um, I'll, I'll have that available, basically. Um, so I'm going to... Spend... Some Insight for that. And okay, still got about fifty blood vials, plenty of quick server bullets. Let's get probably be good on antidotes for a while. Get a, f a little bit more bolt paper. And we'll go ahead and top off on um, my fire paper. And <clears throat> so that's pretty much all I need from the Hypogean Jail for now. If I think of anything later, I'll, I'll run back and get it. But. Um, for now, I'm going to go back to Cathedral Ward and take on the um, Hemwick Charnel Lane, which should give me enough materials to upgrade to a plus six, and then from there, Vicar Amelia.
And I don't think I'm going to do it tonight, but after I get to, through Vicar Amelia, I'll actually be able to go to a couple different areas to get um, the final upgrade I, material I need to get to a plus 10, or well, plus 9 um, saw cleaver. Don't have time to mess with you guys. So on we go to Hemwick Channel Lane. here this forest uh, yeah this is another um, area that I'm just gonna blow by all the bullshit because um, this is just filled with people shooting at you and I mean really I can hear the dogs like literally nipping at my heels so it's not gonna even fuck with that Okay, come on, come on. And... How are you kidding me? Okay. I'm not forgetting the vials, I'm just getting myself caught in the middle of them kicking my ass. Alright, come on. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm not gonna fight with you guys. See you later. Uh, I will take this though. And if the rest of you guys could kindly just fuck off, I would appreciate it. 